to another dangerous night on American highways. It's been a deadly 24 hours. Highways coated in sheets of ice. Take another look at this. That tractor trailer jackknifing there. That's Interstate I-95 in New Jersey. You can see it through the back window of the car going straight across the barrier, landing on the other side of the interstate. The white knuckle moments playing out from the west coast all the way to the east. These cars spinning as they approach a toll booth. Meteorologist Ginger Z with the new storm coming, but first ABC's Gio Benitez on the harrowing drive. Tonight, a new round of icy conditions for millions on their commute home. More deadly crashes in Vermont and in Maine. This propane truck lost control, hitting a car and killing its driver, a 45-year-old woman. At least eight people killed in crashes. More than 500 accidents from the Mid-Atlantic to New England. And that harrowing near miss on the New Jersey Turnpike. The camera rolling as a tractor trailer skids out of control, barreling towards a stopped car before jumping the median and crashing on the other side. Watch again, the huge tractor trailer seconds away from disaster, everyone survives. We spoke with the man who shot the video. They realized that everything up front in front of me was completely blocked off and they have, there was absolutely no way to go to. The culprit, black ice and freezing rain. Tonight, a warning. If the road looks wet, it might be a sheet of ice. And you'll have to be extra careful on those bridges and overpasses. They can be up to six degrees cooler than the road down below. It gets slick and icy up there first. In Oregon, more wrecks caused by freezing fog. Two big rigs carrying hazardous material sandwiching Caleb Whitby. You can see him inside. That car used to be a pickup truck. I could see semi lights coming and I turned my face forward, gripped the wheel pretty tight and said a prayer that everything would be okay. Miraculously, he's barely got a scratch tonight. And it could take nine times longer to stop on an icy road instead of a dry one. Officials warning tonight, if you have to, slow down, keep steady pressure, and don't pump those brakes, David. All right, always good advice. Incredible pictures, Geo. Thanks. Let's get right to meteorologist Ginger Z, because you were telling me much of the country is going to get hit with this all over again. Yes, so many places. And we know it doesn't take much to get accidents like that. So please come with me. I'm going to time this out. It is a clipper system dropping through the northern plains from Fargo there to Chicago Tuesday into Wednesday. Timing is crucial, David. Look at I-80 and I-95 and the time, Wednesday evening. So the commute Wednesday evening from the Mid-Atlantic, from just north of D.C., up through New York City, could be quite snowy. Boston there will pick up snow into early morning Thursday commute. How much snow does all of this? It's really not a lot. It doesn't take a lot to start sliding around on those roads. One to two inches overall in that middle gray area. But it is the lower Hudson Valley back through northwestern New Jersey and eastern Pennsylvania where you could see two plus.